Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this No Face Star Charm. This video is a collab with Dennis from Dennis is Amazing and our theme was Studio Ghibli. I will link all of his social media links in the description box below. So the first thing you want to do is take your black colored clay and you want to flatten it out and roughly shape five points for the star and then just flatten it out on your work surface and refine each of the points of the star. I will link a, a more in-depth star charm tutorial like shaping it on your own in the description box below. A tip for making the star is flattening it on your work surface and smoothing out the creases so it has a more um, smoother looking edge. And just take your time with making the star. If you don't have a star mold, you can do this, but if you do have a star mold, feel free to use it. This is what it looks like when it is completed, and this is it compared to the miniature sweet mold. Now I'm taking a gold eye screw and I'm screwing it in the side of the charm. Of course this is completely optional and you don't have to do it. Next you want to take some pearl color clay and you want to flatten it out into a long oval shape and then put it on the front of the star like so. Next you want to take some purple clay and you want to shape it into a diamond shape. You want to make two of these. Then you want to cut the tips on each side of the diamond. These will be used for the triangles above and below no face, it, no face on his face. Then I'm going to place them on in the rough area where I want his face to be on the pearl oval. Then I'm going to roll out a log of black colored clay and I'm going to cut a few pieces for the eyes and I'm going to shape them in an oval shape and I'm going to put it in between the triangle bits on his face. So it looks like this and I redid the other eye because it wasn't the right size I wanted so just feel free to play with this part. For his mouth, you just want to take some more black clay and create an oval and just put it below his face. This is what he looks like after you make him. And then next you just want to bake according to your package's instructions and you can glaze as well. So this is the final charm I made. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye!